In this video, we are going to demonstrate the assessment of the third, fourth and sixth cranial nerve, namely the oculomotor, trochlear and abducens nerve. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Eye movements are controlled by three cranial nerves, the oculomotor, trochlear and abducens nerve. Weakness of one or more of the extraocular muscles impairs movement of the affected eye and restricts its ability to gaze in a particular direction or directions. No diagnostic accuracy studies are available, so the clinical value is unknown. Examination starts with the pupils. Inspect the size, shape and symmetry of the pupils. The papillary light reflex is elicited by shining a light into the eyes and assesses the oculomotor nerve which innervates the sphincter papillae muscle constricting the pupil. Shining a light into one eye should result in constricting of that eye's pupil called the direct response as well as constriction of the other pupil called the indirect response. Damage to the oculomotor nerve results in absence of the light reflex. Next, assess the accommodation reflex. The patient is asked to first look into the distance and then focus on the tip of their nose in the second step. Here, the pupil should also constrict. Eye movements in each direction can be assessed in six steps. Without moving the head, the patient is asked to gaze upward and to the right, then upward and to the left, horizontally to the right, horizontally to the left, downward and to the right, and downward and to the left. Alternatively, ask the patient to follow a head pin or pen in an H pattern. Ask the patient if they experience double vision and check for failure of movement. All right, you can check out other cranial nerve assessments in the playlist on the left. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below. Also, if you didn't know yet, we have an extensive assessment ebook, mobile app for Android and iOS, and a standalone online course that you can find in the video description right below the like button. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.